Yeah, look down those nostrils. Stay still. <laughs> I don't really need him to stay still, but. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Everyone, how's it going? We've got a little spring in our steps. Some people are getting outside. Ooh, sunlight. It's terrible. It's dangerous. It's frightening. Anyway, speaking of frightening, I'm old man Vin Vin Stone here at LGC Actual in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, switching the bits, bringing all this lovely Linux field nonsense to you, using nothing but... Pure penguin sauce. That man up north, he is brilliant. He is the keeper of Toronto. One Jordan Svang. He has amazingly managed to take an entire wall of sound dampening and still have it misaligned. Somehow, to our amazement, we are not worthy. And the man down there next to Cage himself. On Island, Britannia, one Pedro, Mateus, the three eyed cage. Kiss it. <laughs> And together with, with your you tongue. <laughs> watching us live. <laughs> Shot Realm Dynamic helping us form. You know it. You love it. Cocaine Voltron. All right. People, what's up? What's new? I got a little game before we get started that I like to play. How much does it cost to ship a parcel <laughs> from one side of the United States of the Americas to the other insured? Now, we played this game. Mm -hmm. It was less than I thought. Okay, this, this <laughs> yeah. genuinely surprised me because I have got an RMA ticket from Blackmagic. There's an old old saying that I guess I finally learned about buying Blackmagic hardware. It's great. Just make sure you buy two. So, we after a month of playing around and like getting going through the R RMA process in Europe, that was interesting until they realized, like, wait a minute, what? I'm like, wait a minute, what? I got that packaged up. Went to the UPS store and was like, give me $600 of the insurance. Ship this in, like, eventually, whenever it gets there. You know, I have the backup encoders. We can put those in. I, I I was kind of shocked. Now, Jordan, you said what? 90? So, I, 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 I assumed you, you... Oh, yeah, you said 90 so, pounds. Okay. So, so, you, so usually... In, at least in Canada, it's usually like $10 per $100 worth of insurance, right? And you give mm -hmm. me the amount of insurance. So I figured at least that. So I said 150 because I don't mm. know how big the package is. And I don't know what freight class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. I, then I would have revised my original guess to something like 70 or something. Weighs 70. about as much as a PS4 controller. Is it a PS4 controller? Oh, it better not be. <laughs> it better not be when it gets there. I'll be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> they shipped it they did all the things they packaged it was like 58 bucks which was still it's like you know you know if, if i if i spent 30 seconds and got online i could probably get like an aeroplane ticket for 125 round trip right at this point this, this, this is one of those this is one of those scenarios where it's cheaper to go to to fly from australia right. to the u.s buy the thing and fly back than actually buying it in their native place so. anyway the ups humans were wonderful they did the thing and i'm like oh make sure and i emailed them back i'm like or i mean like no we read the thing we got it cool I'm like extra cool so what's new with you jordan when you're not pushing cars and lifting air conditioner why were you lifting an air conditioner i, I had to install an air conditioner in someone's apartment like a window this no one no not no one, one one of the floor units but i had to transport it from like one house to another mm. up a couple flights of stairs and, they didn't have yeah. a freight elevator <laughs> so okay so here, here 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 here's the bullshit about that because the the freight elevator is on the opposite side of a very long building to where this person's unit is okay, so hang on. we gotta put the qualifier in with or without wheels no wheels Okay. And no, I, I'm no assuming wheels. no one has a hand truck. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not the it's not the first time I've done it. Once upon a time though, there was a brick inside the box. Yes. Fortunately, <laughs> yes. there 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 was there was looming dread up until I brought out the X Acto knife and opened up that box. I'm like, is there okay, good. Thank Christ. <laughs> No, no I, bricks. I, I hate that that happened to you, but I love that I legitimately know somebody that's got a... It scarred brick. me for yeah. life. For life. Well, 
to this day, if I get something like remotely that size or something, because you would never think I would check it in store because of that. And I think, right, yeah. ex exactly. And that, that's that's what they're preying on is like you throw a couple cinder blocks in there. Yeah, that's about the approximate weight I'd expect this thing to be. Sure. I'll, yeah. And I get nope. to you, even for, even though it's from Amazon, anything over like 100, 120 bucks that I get, uh, I have a camera that is just on a tripod. I'm like, boop, just in case it's you know, whatever. I don't, but Amazon's like, whatever. We don't care to ship it back. We'll send you another one. Mm -hmm. Pedro, what's new with your sweetness? Well, uh, this week I was very irresponsible when it came to money because, uh, <laughs> I was on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> I was on eBay and I found the dark souls Two, like the original one without uh, scholar of the first sin, the collector's edition that comes with the big honking statue. It's a, it's about 30 centimeters or a foot if you're watching this in black and white. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, Do you think we could get Aqua to redo Bard Girl to like Dark Souls Girl? I'm a Dark Souls could girl be. in a Dark Souls world, <laughs> dodge and roll in. But yeah, no, that was just a good find because it was the complete collector's edition and the codes were still you know usable uh for and you 20 used pounds. the code destroying the value of the kit i did i also scrapped the box like the big complete now, box that it came oh, in because Pedro, you no. should have filmed that so we could have posted it we would have gotten some <laughs> No, 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 no. All I wanted was what is now in the uh, little uh, aluminium box, which is the original version of the game without the DLC. Hang on, and, like, hang on, hang on. So, 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 wait, so, so. He just glossed over something. Say aluminium again. Aluminium? Aluminium. <laughs> No, I mean, well, it was pronounced aluminium in the thing. It, they had the I after the N, so... No, no, what, you what, credit what, for what, saying it correctly. What, 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 I, what I care about is, do you have an order coming for the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition so that you can have the two little Dark Souls men and make them kiss? <laughs> if I can find another one, if I can find that one for 20 pounds, yeah, absolutely. You know what? But Dark no, Souls no. figurines kissing might be too hard for us, but they're definitely not too hot for the horse i mean nothing is at this point considering it's a melted blob of plasma and whatever the fuck this is mm. it's the steam we got, we, 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 got a, we got a client update now for uh, the Steam beta. It's a fairly minor one, but it should provide some sort of assistance somewhere. Uh, if you scroll down, um, you can see that they added support for merging NVIDIA per thread cache files yeah, after processing did. new Ooh, Vulcan pipelines after a game. Fixes. Yes. <laughs> so now, apparently in the background, they're going to cordon about a quarter of your logical CPUs and use that to compile and merge uh, Vulcan shader pipelines uh, and cache them. So that might help. Help with proton load times question mark we'll mm. see how much I, I mean it's it's nice to have the cash there but how much of a difference will it actually make That's i gotta say this man earlier this week uh you might have noticed it if you were on the beta steam client maybe pedro you were like me like what's this vulcan thing that it was just every window. single time i start yeah. code vein <laughs> saw that. Yeah, I know, and uh, I'd like to uh, <laughs> also point out that the Empire Strikes Ass follow this on Twitch, was, which was amazing. That's nice. Uh, but no, uh, it, it, I saw that window, and every single time I've started uh, Code Vein or Fallout 4 lately, it's like, that's, that wasn't there before. Well, what's happening? And then this fix comes out, and it's like, oh, that's what's happening. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I kind of knew it was the thing because I went investigating just like, let's go to, and then like, oh, we can now render the Vulcan uh, shaders in the background. I'm like, oh, that's neat. Okay. It, it's just when you start the game and it's in the middle of doing that in the background that you see the window, it's like, oh, all right. So I immediately right. opened up Left 4 Dead. Like, nah, no, nah, you're still going <laughs> to. No. Well, I'm pr proton load times, Vulcan load times, <laughs> not, not, so, not so much the open goal. All right. No. Yeah. We get it, bro. You All right. Yes. So uh, if you're a Steam developer and you want to make your game accessible in NVIDIA's GeForce now, well, Valve has... What if has I wanted accessible in GeForce later? Uh, what about, what, what about GeForce soon? Wait a little bit. What, I, I'm just saying, man. Then you have to wait a bit less. Mail <laughs> but what, but what will then be now? Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, tomorrow. Uh, in any case, uh, Valve has made it very easy, if you're a Steam developer, to make sure that you can... Um, effectively license your game for people to play it via nvidia's geforce now and this isn't available for uh players just yet mm -hmm. but it will be in the future and basically what it will let you do is if you install the steam client you'll be able to say launch all those uh cloud enabled games that you have if you have them installed or if you have them in your account and they are um enabled for you to play them via a cloud client they will but yeah right now it's just for developers hence why it comes from the uh, steam games partner website yeah. i don't know man so, i'm looking yeah, at that i'm it, thinking of like what do you think pedro what do you think jordan for like laying the groundwork i get this you know this is going to be like it or not of I mean, when we have laser sex connections in our brain mates this is game streaming it makes sense i mean that's how it's going to be delivered but but that future, I'm thinking it's kind of a ways off. And, you know, personally, <laughs> how about in the interim? I'm going to keep saying this every time you talk about this valve. It's like, g give me that monthly rental. Let let's do like digital Netflix used to be like, let me keep two games at a time for like 20 bucks a month. So like. It, 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 seemed, it seems like it could be a good idea, um, just allowing you to play your games on Steam all over the place. But there's there's a couple technical hurdles that I'm seeing here, technical and mm -hmm. financial hurdles. Um, like, are they going to be doing some sort of file sh uh, save file sharing thing? That would be kind of neat. That would be an answer to, like, the people concerned about Stadia saying, like, well, what happens when your service shut de su shuts down? Do I at least get my save file so if I want to play this game continually, I don't have to start the damn thing over again? Uh, and then that also... Uh, the, that also begs the question, well, if they're doing it for G GeForce now, they're going to be introducing newer partners later, which might be Microsoft because they have their own game streaming stuff as well. Yep. Are they going to start like introducing different pricing tiers based on access type? And how can that be abused to fuck over the consumer? Because mm. that's all that's all my brain goes to. Dude, we got to uh, think about that, though, because we've seen a bunch of developers. NVIDIA's with their GF GeForce now thing. Is that out publicly now? I knew it was in like. Yes. OK. Yeah. And this is not very popular. Yeah, a lot more popular than Stadia, baby. But a lot of <laughs> developers yeah. and publishers, they've been pulling stuff off. They're like, no, you can't have that on your service. Why, why, why not? You don't have to. We're not getting a cut. A cut of what? We're just letting people play the game already. But we, give us money. For what? <laughs> money. <laughs> and and, and, and that, that, that's, that's, kind of the, that's kind of the problem here is that that basic give us money urge. The, We'll we'll transform what seems like a good idea on the tin into something like completely horrible. Where like, oh, if you want to play the game remote, you have to get like the Turbo Fuck You Game of the Year edition that comes with all this DLC and cosmetic shit you don't want. And blah blah blah. They are definitely oh, yeah, going to take a stab at of that. Developers, but you know, it, Valve it made it a point. Developers. <laughs> Valve made it a point that developers will still be paid through traditional sales. Steam Cloud Play is simply going to let users, you know, to give you more options. <laughs> It, it's it's like that it's like the humble or not the humble the uh the gog integration with steam like the yeah where, where like periodically you can get drm free copies of your steam games on gog assuming that they're already drm free uh so it, if if, it, if it's something just like that um i'm curious to see how nvidia or or stadia or whoever is still going to be a partner with this actually intends to monetize it this but i don't think i don't think valve because valve's monetizing it th simply put like this with stadia was dead on arrival because stadia walked out and like yo we we need you to buy a game directly from us this is gonna be cheaper no it's not it's gonna be full retail okay i can do that um and I got to pay for your service on top of that? Yes, you do. Okay, what happens? Uh, can I move the game anywhere? No, you can't. What happens when you eventually kill it, Google? Like you do everything. Ah, uh, you're fucked. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can download your saves. Good luck. It's like, uh, good luck how about selling the money I spent on the game itself? Okay. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> but, you know, give me an option to stream the games that I already own. Yeah, Valve's doing this because you think about it. If I have the option in addition to downloading and playing the games, but I have the option maybe, you know, couch, I want to play steam in-house or i want to play when i'm away from my collection i'm probably going to favor steam not like we got a lot of options here in linux land but i'm just saying if you do have options probably going to end up buying it on steam just 
for that extra, extra, extra little bit of well, icing. So, so you, you, you say that, but like we, we've kind of seen gamers swallow it when it comes to the console space where you can, where like online services for games that still run perfectly fine content for games that still perfectly run fine on consoles get killed. Uh, oh, you got to buy a new special edition. You don't get to keep your old save, blah, blah, blah. So it's not, it's not a huge leap. What, what Google is doing, but yeah, it, it's a bit of a harder sell just because like you don't it's have a hard sell. You, Especially with you, you don't consoles. have the physical item. Yeah, one of the big things mm -hmm. with the consoles, the next generation, both of them, um, Microsoft and Sony, are like, yo, it's going to play your old stuff. Don't worry about it. We got you on this. That's a it's selling point. It's probably because the hardware isn't different. It's basically like no, a uh, PC. Man, my Xbox has got X eighty seven. I'm sure, and it, it, it uses a trinary processor, not yeah. some shitty binary process. Actually, trinary processors do outperform binary processors. Dude, all right. I would love for. to hear the like wholly missing, just like we did when we were children. It, it was Super Nintendo versus my, the yeah. um, Mega Drive, and my, my uncle works at Nintendo. That, and that he says, I, "I want to hear the modern argument, play school argument, like debate." I can just see how that rolls. That'd be. It's about rolls. the the exclusives. That's what the yeah. those arguments boil down to. It's like, oh, this console has this. This console has that. Of course, the PS4 won that one because the PS4 had Bloodborne. Hey. But 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 you, you know you know you know who has the best exclusive? Stadia's got that Serious Sam Four exclusive to Stadia. Nah, man. If you want like a super exclusive club to be in, you you could always play the Steam in China. But that's true. Uh, the so uh, th th this this comes from WinGG. Uh, links to all this stuff is in our show notes. So there is a Steam client that is being released to the China mar Chinese market. Yeah, we've talked uh, about it was, this. Yeah, yeah. There, there there are definitely plans for it. This is apparently it was actually it actually went live last week. Hmm. Uh, so now now people are using it. Uh, it starts up. You get a healthy game advisory, boycott harmful games, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, let's not get into that. Um, one thing that is coming. With with this client though is it's it's a little bit of a blast from the past who remembers their icq number <laughs> who, who remembers no. their friends icq numbers because <laughs> the friend service now just uses the uh, internal steam id for the user so ho hopefully people hopefully you have a good recollection of uh, oh, what people sure. are playing whatever you say 76 16 120 43 46 07 <laughs> ah, likely story yes um <laughs> so um there, there's still gonna be some limits implemented um playtime exceeded yeah, yeah, the, because yeah, the, in China you can play games, certain kinds of games, after 10 p.m. So uh, if you play a game at some point during the day, then you get that little notification saying you can play this game after 10 p.m. or between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. And that yeah. seems to be the thing with the whole client. It, there are a lot of limitations to well, what games you can play and how but the, long the, you can play them for the, these these are all the concessions you need to make though if you're an american company who wants to do business in mainland china so to yeah. some extent i mean then it gets to the point to like google go Google's like you know what f this we're out um <laughs> yeah I, I, don't, I don't think valve is google size just yet no. i don't think they, 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 they look at the, all the people playing like auto chess in china they're like well you want, you want some of that well mm -hmm. that's the thing with a we let everyone know because uh whatever reason we're not blocked in china <laughs> we may be now but I mean, we weren't listen <laughs> please, I, please, I have goals please please don't kill me mr fan i swear i haven't said anything bad yet i haven't said right. anything bad yet All right. um, uh, we get some interesting news uh, this comes from boiling steam you can find everything we have in our show notes after the fact from Ethan Lee, you might know him as Flippity Jibbity Ibbity Bidi by Boom. And this is uh, Troubling Times Reporters in a Proton World. And it just goes to outline the current state of where Ethan finds things and where they lie from his perspective as somebody, you know, from XNA and FNA and all that fun stuff, porting games to the Linux and doing a fantastic job. Going yeah, all the way back to where vessel, um, you remember those days. Now, yeah. <laughs> this kind of rocks in with, you know, how Proton has really shaken up the landscape. And it has, because you think about it, Proton, it started as with kind of a neat way to play some of your old games on Steam. Maybe, you know, like, yeah, my mess around. Then DXVK happened. Ooh. Then D9VK happened. Ah. Now, I'll tell you what it is. It's a Vulcan-fueled 
wonderland where more often than not, hey man, you're going to be surprised if it doesn't launch when you do it. Now, you know, it's hard pinching because Ethan walked in and he's like, hey man, it's kind of difficult to uh, get the deals through these days. And you know what? That's a hard sell. It is um, for people who port stuff, you know, with Ryan Flibbit or Feral Interactive. Uh, you've seen, I remember saying way back, you're going to start seeing feral focus more on Nintendo switch and mobile ports, which they have because they're a mm-hmm. company and they've been around for a minute. They saw this. This isn't breaking news to anybody who's been paying a lot of attention, but yeah, that's it. What do you think, Jordan? Is that a hard pitch to make? Like, uh, Hey, we can have your game up and working in like six, eight months for X amount of money. When the publisher goes, it already works. So Ethan brings up a lot of good points in in this little interview here. Um, basically about the effect that Proton is having on the rest of the Linux gaming ecosystem. And I think ultimately he's right about the detrimental effect, effect that it can ultimately have on the platform. Uh, the platform's relationship with the software vendors, as well as the people who are trying to pitch this to vendors as, hey, this is something you should actually care about. Because, you know, putting, putting the operation of most games on the shoulders of Valve and the Greater Wine Project really it does seem like putting all of our eggs in one basket. Um, we're going to see more of a, we, we may start seeing more of a focus on, well, let's not make Linux gaming better. Let's just make wine better. Let's just make Proton better. Uh, let's get better at making our operating system run Windows executables. And that's not necessarily healthy because, again, we're, we're hitching our wagon to our already admittedly diseased platform in the sense of like <laughs> Windows and their executable format. But also, also the fact that we're not really raising up more Linux specialists like uh, Ryan, like Ethan, like uh, the people who are working for Asphile or, or Feral or that, that that dude who ported Shadow Warrior. And you know, you're right. Game publishers will usually go with the least expect, expensive solution. And I if would the sure too. Yeah. And if the if that solution is doing nothing and letting Valve handle it, this creates a ton of technical debt for Valve in the, and Proton in the future. I'm foreseeing uh, one, one of these such negative moon futures where Pro- Proton and Wine have just become this jumbled, garbled mess dedicated to supporting every single edge case for executables that were not originally intended to run on the platform that they're currently running on. And it's not it's not a good future. It's it's how it's how we got the situation where we have X right now, where things just kept piling on and on and on and on until it becomes a blow to mess. People complain about Java. It's the same thing. So these are these are all valid points. And I think maybe as a community, we've been so ecstatic with ecstatic with like the immediate solution that we've sort of forgot about the long term problems and the systemic issues that are causing people not to make games for Linux in the first place. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, People weren't making games for Linux in the first place, and we did see a little bit of an uptick when Steam came out on Linux, and there were a bunch of people who hired Flippit and who hired Iculus and who hired Feral and Aspire and everyone else to try and get their games on Linux. It is sad that we're seeing native ports go the way of the Dodo, but... If you actually look at the numbers and you look in Proton DB, um, Proton made more games playable in a matter of months than, you know, porting houses or developers right, right. like Flibbit and Iculus did in the years since Steam came out on Linux. There were right, more that's, games that's, available. That's still a short term benefit, though. That's what I'm saying is it, it, it is an immediate benefit, but it doesn't take into account the long term. It's damage about that it is being able causing. to play video games and proton delivers well i, I mean i the get argument it. i do if, <laughs> if we replace the word proton with wine because this is an open source tool that has been yeah, around it, it, for 20 plus years that i remember using in the late 90s to get alice up and working um it it's been working for the past two decades yeah but proton had the one extra thing which is it's a one-click button. experience yeah. you click install and away we go and yeah i wish that you know native development had been the way that we enjoyed our games nowadays that would have been amazing that would have been perfect but we live in the stupid timeline and right now proton is the best way to enjoy 70 percent of your windows only library that you have already but on I, steam to get to jordan's you can play point it. i mean you're definitely seeing people not 
incentivized to tap that export button and learn a little thing or two because you have Unity and to a far greater, lesser extent, I should say, uh, Unreal Engine capable of delivering Linux mm-hmm. by areas. And it's going to require Vulkan, but Jordan, I, I don't think anybody's even going to bother. It, and 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 that's and that's the problem. And again, that just puts more and more in the eggs in the proton basket, in the wine basket. And I, I I've said it before. We're 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 seeing Valve try to make their own windows, but I don't think Valve necessarily, or even the community at large, has the bandwidth to essentially maintain a separate fork of Windows. Mm. That that is ultimately reactionary because again, no one is directly targeting Proton. None of these game makers are actually yeah, just waiting for like the React OS team to like come kicking through your door. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. What? What'd the future say? is React OS. Just watch. Right, right. It, but it is. That's 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 my point exactly. Is that Linux gaming will forever be in this reactive standpoint where like some new anti cheat comes out or some new invasive whatever comes out, and it's gonna it's gonna take years. What are you? For Proton to to catch up like, is I mean that, that's we, a problem. We've seen Denuvo actively go, yo, we're going to work with Proton. Then we've definitely seen Nvidia go, yeah, we're we're fixing bugs we're fixing with Proton. Proton shit, yeah. <laughs> so in so the, 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 those those are two different scenarios though. Nvidia has a stake in making sure that their drivers work and pro, stuff like Proton Online expose gaps in their implementation that they wouldn't have otherwise found. Denuvo, I think that was sort of bundled into the because there was a lot of outrage on the Windows side too about the anti cheat being forced on uh, users as well. I think that was more like, hey, now that we're doing this thing already, let's 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 sort of see if we can get some brownie points for these other people who have a problem with us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I, like I said, from from a development, so from a software ecosystem standpoint, what Ethan's saying is 100% right, regardless of the fact that we can play all these games right now. Yes, but from the side of, you know, the video game playing See, Pedro's people, playing you know, the role the of client. the devil's pope. No, I'm playing the role of someone who wants to play video games. And How dare you? Uh, and I, I'm 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 playing no. I'm, and I'm playing the role of someone Proton who cares about wins. the Patriot future of Linux. Period. Linux is a religion. Treat it as such. It's not an operating system. <laughs> I had this talk earlier in the week with Civic, uh, you know, the volunteer that helped uh, bring us indivisible, and it was yeah. It, it's like at this point, if the game works with minimal issues, and if I hit install and i start it and it works and it picks up on my controller and everything is fine and dandy yeah no i'm okay with it Mm. okay i I, i'm I'm not necessarily but it's it's a complicated issue many many nuanced sides and takes let's let's beat each other up instead hey let's keep talking about it Yeah, so Proton G, um, the competitor to the official Proton, well, it's not the competitor, it's like the, it's like, we're going to base the, we're pulling the Proton patches into the latest version of Wine and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. It's basically throw shit at a fan and seeing what sticks. Uh, (laughs) But, no, with this one, uh, they... Pro, uh, Gloria Sagrol is very clear. It's like okay, I have just got to go out and I'm looking at this photo, um, the screenshot from uh, I'm guessing it, that is the Mortal smile, Kombat. That, that is the tiniest Stargate I've ever seen. I think there's a dude in there. <laughs> I, I think that's, that's how you know I, it's, I, just, I, I, it's a very small <laughs> Stargate. Look at it. I thought it was the logo from Westworld. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, uh, he's very clear. It's like, this is pre-release because we had to disable a bunch of things to make things work. So yeah, but yeah, they've uh, managed to find a way to get Mortal Kombat 11 to work in full screen, which is nice. Uh, Spyro, uh, the audio wasn't working previously. It is working now. Uh, Borderlands 3. there's issues with the audio there still uh, in the introductory speech from Marcus, but at least it plays now. Um, for me, w- which is not in the actual release list, uh, Dark Souls 2. It has an intro cutscene, which is, you can't even see it if you just start it with a regular Proton because uh, Media Foundation platform is disabled out of the box. But with Proton GE, you can't actually see the whole video. 
But the audio is still skipping. It's the exact same issue that um, the Borderlands 3 Marcus intro is displaying. The exact same well, one. I'll so I'm pretty sure like when this. they fix uh, that. As I previously said, after 20 years of playing games through one, I don't notice audio skipping. <laughs> I filter that out, you scrub. That's Get what I draw for. <laughs> All right, that's the thing. Hey, uh, new version of Gamer Oz 18. Is this uh, Gamer Oz totally not Arch? Totally, totally not Arch, you guys. They got they got a brand yes. new kernel version, yes, uh, new someone. Mesa, <laughs> new NVIDIA drivers, Steam SNK Closet. SNK Action, blah. baby. BIOS not included. You got to install your own Neo Geo BIOS separately. Oh, wow. um, but yeah, they they had new Steam Buddy platforms for Arcade, Neo Geo, GameCube, blah blah blah. So they have a flat hub version of Xenotic, Valoran, and Firefox for whatever reason. Um, they they have uh, Wake on Land support. You can now exit games through Steam Buddy, etc. etc. Et um, yeah, this is this is once again someone trying to take a crack at making a console experience uh, OS for uh, for Linux. Uh, they have a giveaway too. You can get a yeah, game on their on their approved. Service certified games list if you take a picture or a screenshot of your or no it's a it's a photo you have to actually like take a photo of your screen with the uh, mm -hmm. with the settings page visible <laughs> and go to go to discord and attach it and you can maybe win a game i like that they're playing around with flat hub that's a good thing i gaming games uh that is so you want to sell me on like containerization that'll do it i'm like yeah that's a good idea shipper yeah. in a flat pack um <laughs> but Pedro, we need to have a talk about something that is completely overdue, and that's something that's jiggle physics. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Murder but, wiggle? No. <laughs> Murder wiggle. Let's not uh, actually put that on camera because Twitch gets a bit uh, happy with the ban hammer. Everyone so, search for murder wiggle. Safe search. <laughs> Half-Life Alex update 1.4 is released. And the big one that you may have seen all over the internet. It's Jeff. like, oh, you know, Jeff. Have Jeff. I wonder yes. if Frank knows Jeff. <laughs> I, I wonder if they're friends. Uh, Frank, do you know Jeff? <laughs> no. You know what? Go fuck yourself. You just go back to doing whatever you want. No. <laughs> uh, you two should get married at some point. But no, uh, it, it was the um, liquid in bottles. And people on the internet were throwing a bit of a fit. It's like, oh, the bottles have liquid in them now. And I'm like, oh. Okay. Oh I man, guess it's, no, you, it's, no, pretty, I it's pretty good. <laughs> I just saw that and I'm like, that's too real, man. I, I used yeah, the art of escape. <laughs> hey, like, I, 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 got, I gotta say, that's pretty good. I wonder if there's like options for changing viscosity too, because that would be kind of neat. You could like, yeah, you could make, probably it's source, right? So you could just probably go into the source files and just change the viscosity. Well, and add a well, little bit I, more. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about like improved Molotov cocktail physics, where like the, the fuel actually like flows in different shapes and like, yeah, dude, I'm, and I'm, it I'm down the with the trajectory this. of the bottle as you throw it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I wonder this, if you cool could... stuff. Like actually get to the part where you could like mix different liquids and shake them up and like, right, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, the only thing that I noticed is it, now it's available in Brazilian Portuguese and regular Portuguese. So Dang. complete moon speak for everyone. <laughs> See, I wanted to get you to like voice Alex in Portuguese. Give us your best Alex impression. Yeah, pretend Jordan's a head crab. <laughs> God, Lamar, stop! Oh, it's like I'm there. <laughs> All right. All right, now, now let me hump your face. With a, with right, a Warhammer? Uh, with, with, no, with my paunch. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so this is uh, Total Warhammer 2, the Vorden and the Paunch. DLC's out. Um, you got new orcs. You got new elves. Uh, and if you played the crap out of Total Warhammer 2, Electric Boogaloo, and you're kind of bored of the unit commendations, you now have a couple more options to dick around with. That's basically it. You get the two new generals with the heroes. And I mean, Gorka Morka, man, the red ones go faster. What more do you want? Look I at this guy. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, I want to give him a hug. I want to strap myself to a motoring vehicle and play guitar. Yeah. Oh man. But uh, but yeah. Uh, it, it's it's available if you if you are a total Warhammer fan. Unlike us, who were like we yeah. we gave the we gave this a shot we when tried, it came man. out. We it, tried all of them, and it's like, yeah, so, I genuinely did. No. I sit there and I'm like, I'm supposed to at least. Come 
kind of like this. I didn't. I, I tried to be strategic and then I got my ass kicked. Uh, so I'm like, mm -hmm. eh, no, it, not, it's not just for me. rush, rush the whole thing. It, don't, you know, just run up the hill like I did the first time. I'm just saying, go around it, the it, side. if you're coming into like the modern Warhammer <laughs> and that, that's a big, that's a big check to sign into, man. Whoa, it, there's a lot of stuff to that tutorial. I'm like, I need to take notes. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, it, and it's slightly less complicated than the actual miniature game, so there you go. Hey, but some people are looking for that, right? Indeed. Indeed. Probably. Good news, Doom everyone. Doom RM, Digital Doom Restriction Management. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> as it turns out, people were not a fan it of could be this Doom whole Eternal De Nuvo update kernel patch. level. It could be, you, you could want for dupe. Dupe, yes, yeah. the democratic order of planets. Um, yeah, but uh, 1.1, <laughs> they have removed uh, Denuvo Anti Cheat. If you're under Windows, you got to add and remove programs. If you're on Linux, you just got to delete the game and reinstall it, and the latest version will have all of that stuff ready for you. There's also some memory leak fixes and whatnot, but that's that's the big thing. Is now you can play you can play the Doom Eternals on the Protons again. Woo! You have to be I'm still waiting for that, that to go. <laughs> I, I, Can you I'm, imagine I'm like being on the fucking team and like the one person finally like shows up and they're like, the Linux people can't play anymore. And they're like, what, what, what's that mean? Let me show you the history of like Linux people not being able to accomplish it and how many DRM schemes have been blown the fuck apart because of that. Mm -hmm. Hi, DVD. <laughs> um, hi, PS4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but no it, 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 it's nice we we finally have a resolution to that um we're apparently we're going to be seeing more proton friendly de nouveau anti-cheat in the future whatever the fuck that means i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was the question i asked last week that no means one had that you only have to install two protons <laughs> it mean it it means that you get you got to shoot anti protons at your computer. There we go. You have to install Sigwin and Proton, and then run wine through no, it. No, 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 no. You you got you got to run you got to run <laughs> MinGW compiled Sigwin. I, I don't even know where I'm going. DOS box <laughs> question. I I, I I don't I don't I don't even know anymore. Let, Linux let's make some, system for Windows bitches. All right, let's make uh, some monsters. One new game we have before we get out of the Steam segment is Test Tube Titans. Hundred percent honest. The only reason I clicked on this was this called Test Tube Titans. Uh, this is a tester trial. Hundred percent. What is it? You've never heard of it. Take on your friends in a chaotic physics-based wrestling match. Uh, craft They're custom mating. titans and walk through. A <laughs> yes. This is, this is more jiggle physics, man. This is more like a kaiju jiggle physics. I think we need to censor this out. I mean, I, I can, don't we, know, man. Can, can we show this on Twitch? <laughs> Possibly not. Oh, it just keeps going. No, mommy, don't touch daddy like that. <laughs> <laughs> this this looks like a, that thing from Double Fine Gang Beast that you have fuck all idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's basically gang. I, I played the demo. They do have a free demo. It okay. runs fine. Um, so it's basically Gang Beast meets Human Fall Flat meets a little bit of Magic Megabyte Punch because you can like make your mutants and like RNG for stats and then merge them together. And then the controls are basically they're they're basically just gang beasts. Okay, you... this, that's not, that exact that played out how I thought. I'm watching like gang beast is like watching you guys hug for five minutes and it says like yes. one. I'm so like, okay. so they, they 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 at least in creative mode they add a little modifier too where you can uh you can hey, it's take, take down buildings. You know the the demo is the regular game is uh, 10 bucks. But yeah, you, you can take down buildings and get extra points for it. It's like that old Godzilla fighting game, Destroy All Monsters, which was also really fun. It was on PlayStation right. 2. Okay. You can try this out. That looks like, but, but, um, you'll need a uh, Steam remote play together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We're going to miss on this one. I was like, but yep. you can use the Steam thing that, okay. No. <laughs> Now, again, current year argument. It's 2020. What's your excuse? It's 2020 we and we're all it. fucking stuck all right. in quarantine. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Coming up next. You like city skylines? Do you? Because goddamn, there's a ton of city skylines. Such a also, skitty. Such a skitty. It's, a, it's a skitty and a whale lord uh, for those of you who walk. get that reference. Yes. Ah. Welcome, to, welcome to shitty walk. Can I take your order, city please? Walk. If you have tangles in your dangles, tangles uh, in my you dangles. should probably should see a doctor. I think there's wait a cream a for that. No, no, no. Well, I, 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 I've, I've wrangled my tangle dangles, dude, and I've, I've made a bangle out of them. You got to worry about it. What if you have ankles in your dangles? Like, what, what if what you if, have cankles what, on your dangles? What if your dangles <laughs> feed on human leg? 
hurts. <laughs> what, 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 what if your dangles feet, feet on cankles? That might be useful. <laughs> I don't know. If, if, you, if, you wanna, if you want to feed... Trap. If you want to feed your cankles to us, you can. I don't. I don't even know. So, Go for it. We'll, we'll put them. We'll put them on our wish list. Go we'll ahead cankles. and like swing this into a segment where we're like, with your support, we're able. With, the, with so your we support, can we we can cankles. afford this. No, with your with your support, we can buy enough food to give all of us cankles. The genetic <laughs> splicing required to make our favorite house plant. <laughs> We're just, we're just gonna cut our legs off and replace them with cankles. That's what our Patreon is for. Support us. Go to thexgamecast.com. <laughs> Mess over that support button. If you don't want to go to Patreon, you can follow some of the other links. But Patreon's the real cool business because you get cool stuff like now video video pre pre super shows. It's yeah. great. You can see our face for an extra hour every week. And I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can if you want to support us. You also get uh, access to our Discord channel, where you can watch, listen to said pre pre super chosen. Uh, you also get you also get uh, show note access. Um, you can RSVP to game streams. I do serious sims on Thursdays. Ven does a assorted potpourri on Fridays. Pedro does forever alone Mona on Tuesdays. But if you wanna if you wanna show up, you can. I don't know. We're gonna have to work something out with me and Pedro because I need Pedro to help me defeat a stripper. <laughs> yeah. listen, that can be arranged. He's, listen, he's a tough all, 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 all they want to do is take off your clothes, their clothes, take off your clothes and their clothes for your amusement. Leave them alone. Um, <laughs> we, we, we got, we got a new Patreon. We got a, we got to thank uh, I Ajad A J A J A J. All right, yeah. uh, all right. I, I wasn't sure if that was a weird spelling of something. Um, either way, we got to thank you for becoming a brand new Patreon. Um, I gotta, I gotta thank Aldius as well because now, now I have to put on a mask. Okay. Excuse, excuse me. All right. I got, the, I got this horse mask. I got, a, I got a note from Aldius, and he says, "You must show this off on stream from Aldius." So, all right. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to be like the mask Jim Carrey, and he turns into maybe I just suffocate. I mean, it's one man. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, damn it. We needed a three shot of that. <laughs> now, then I gotta put that on with the wizard robe, so stay tuned. No, <laughs> hey, if you want to put us on you, that's available. Uh, we have a store on Teespring, store at linkscamecast.com. We got Hell Elks, we got the Three Faces, we got Weekly Daily Wednesdays, we got mugs. We do not have ankle warmers uh what else do we have do we have ankle warmers we got wish zones uh i got one for the studio it's a bunch of boring stuff that helps us uh unlock i still think that looks like a fucking ice cube um go watch the pre-pre super shows and if you want to find out about that pedro and jordan have more entertaining wish list uh like uh you will be forced to uh read out anything that you write within reason we haven't pretty much yet. yeah yeah <laughs> It's anything that won't send me to, to jail that, that's my only limitation for, um, time that's your own problem you gotta deal with that um, <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's get ready to humble yes especially if you really really like city skylines like really, because really yeah you really can, really um Get the city Do you think skylines they ever get bundle. tempted to just like fuck with us a little bit and be like ninety nine percent? But the last things like I don't know a DLC to like Devil May Cry. Yeah, yeah. It, it is or... city skylines and the two hundred bits of DLC that they currently have out. Uh, so yeah, it's pay what you want for all the skylines. I'm not entirely sure Nissan is on board with this, but I will tell. Uh, it's yeah, no, you get all of the DLC and you also get ten uh, percent off the humble choice which is what they call humble monthly nowadays what is green cities is it like the plants win yeah pretty much yeah <laughs> it, all, 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 all the buildings and whatnot are just green that's it's it's like that song i'm blue except it's i'm green and so they all die cool i don't know when the I, charity this time around is water so yeah <laughs> good old water there's nothing wrong with it when i see um i think like everyone when you, you see like the, that picture you're like oh man post-apocalyptic right on a building. No. 
<laughs> up next <laughs> wait a minute motherfuckers okay you, you you mean like in near in like in the weeb souls that you're playing right now with the fucking buildings with vines and shit growing on them i mean uh, that that gave Fox me some both of you vibes, i'm right yes. go to hell <laughs> die in a fire that, that's how it works Deca declare you're right move on <laughs> just did baby just did go to gudut you know what you love it but now you can know it and love it inside of a web browser man that's kind of cool, it's, man. HTML5, it's been a promising technology. One thing I don't see in here is any mention. Oh, here we go. WebAssembly. That's brilliant. JavaScript, shared array buffers, native file system APIs. Oh, the nightmares you can unlock from the comfort of your own home with an open source game engine. Man, is this cool? Should we be happy about this? I, I mean, the, ra the rationale behind it is sound. The engine supports the browser. The editor is made in the engine. Make editor work in browser tracks yeah. i can see I can, I can see this being useful in like a thin client setup mm -hmm. um i'm curious if like you could also use it for a remote work thing like say you have the you have like the web ui running on your dev box which is a much more powerful machine and if you're out working on a mm -hmm. coffee shop you can like push builds to like build on your own machine as opposed to the little laptop that you're working on there there's lots of there's lots of cool potential for this uh de definitely but it's a, it's a good proof of concept too and it also solidifies a lot of like the gaps that would be present in the engine if you're gonna say hey if we fully support like web assembly html5 blah 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 if we can't get our own software running on that we can't really make that claim so this is this is all made possible from a grant from mozilla as well uh oh, you're gonna neat. need yep. the you're also gonna need the if you want to test this out you need either the latest uh, canary chrome or the uh, latest firefox nightly that has that support in there but that'll be coming into the main releases soon -ish. where are we at with um you know, because I'm sure we've all played or attempted to play at least a game at some point, um, especially like 3D once. accelerated game, at least once. And like, you're always met with, oh, so I basically just got to download the entire game and play it through a browser. That that sounds like playing the game with an extra step. Well, I mean, that, that, that's kind of, XK, XKCD made a joke about that forever oh, ago. It's like, I I have this idea for streaming apps. You just go to, you just stream the app. And it's like, I just realized I invented web pages. Um, <laughs> kudos. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, like that, that, that is, that is a limitation of the web platform, but there's the, the, uh, the other advantage of uh, using the web is that it is asynchronous. So you don't need to download the whole game. If you architect it properly, you would be able to just download the bits and pieces that you need at that so time. So you're saying I'm going to be downloading the, the whole game. Okay. Uh, no. Eventually, 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 but not all. <laughs> if you play through the whole game in one sitting. Yes. Well, I just heard architect it <laughs> properly. So yeah, I'm going to be downloading the whole game. Well, uh, like yeah. right at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I can hope that developers will do their job, but as Proton has showed us, they don't want to. Do you um, think we could make a fighting game with this technology? Absolutely. Oh. That 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 was kind of like a handoff. Story <laughs> that was your Jordan. segue, Jordan. <laughs> yes. Segue. Good. <laughs> fighting games. Ikemen Go, which I thought was a uh, which I thought was an open source reimplementation of Pokemon Go at first, but no. Um, it is a Go based implementation of Ikemen, which is a fighting game engine that accepts Mugen data. What is Mugen? You might ask. Well, you might have seen some videos of on YouTube of fighting games where like Peter Griffin is fighting Goku. And if you wanted to see who could win, Mugen would help you do this. Uh, this is cross-platform. Uh, you can uh, it's source available now, so you can download and run it. Assuming you have an up-to-date version of Go, they give you the build instructions here. I have not tried this out because I have not got down gone down the Mugen rabbit hole. Like I have. <laughs> uh like several of several other friends i've had but yeah like it's basically this game <laughs> yeah <laughs> and if you've never looked up uh mugen videos on youtube don't uh -huh. because uh, those will be your recommendations for the foreseeable future i know that that happened to be like seven years ago now <laughs> go donut i'm oh man is is there a ralph wiggum sprite and he goes like go banana oh man <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, just 
this is like now I know the name because we've all seen these videos and random. Yes. They were just yeah. like screen caps. You're like, what <laughs> is going? What? And like, yeah, people are just throwing some shit in there and having fun with it, which is awesome. And it's cool that we can sit and play and play with this nonsense. Also, you don't really see a lot of games written in Go these days, so that's no. awesome. Yeah, that's an odd choice, but hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm down with it. So. With all this fancy new DRM free Doom going around the kids are playing, we can play a vintage version, right? Or just some old ass shit. <laughs> Doom, a turtle slayer, is now available on ModDB. There'll be a link in the show notes. And it's just exactly what you think it is, Ben. You get to play as the Doom Slayer and you run around and you boop things. There used to be a video on here. Where did it go? <laughs> It's in the summary. You need to scroll up and click on summary. <laughs> hey, there it is. Look at that. So, dun, what are, dun, what are, what are dun, we seeing, Pedro? Is this, uh, dun, dun. this is the Doom guy with his Doomy sword. Uh, sing, yeah, does, that's does he the sing new the Doom, Doom guy song? from Doom Eternal uh, running around a full 3D model uh, in Sprite-Land. Can I be a monk? It, 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 like, it looks like a green screen. Dude. <laughs> yes, it does. It's, I'm half it expecting, like, like it doesn't I'm half fit. expecting the background to like start turning into like different black and white footage and like James Bond will be driving I, by I, in I his know, car. Man, for some reason, then I, I got like Power Man 5000 playing him around. Now I was like, why are you going out to? <laughs> I mean, it looks fast, but fun enough, different perspective. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to fuck around with it. I yeah, that yeah was... no, it, it, it is a very early alpha. They make it very clear. It's like, okay, this is the first version. So it will break it will not work properly but yeah it is the um model from doom eternal with the sword from doom eternal um in old classic doom land hmm. <laughs> did, did, didn't didn't the uh didn't what, what was it i think ven you posted this earlier there was like the noah's ark version of doom is now on steam for linux or something or well the only thing oh, i know the about that, that you there have was to, that the animals Ark. with the a slingshot. <laughs> yeah, so, so. there that is a very valuable SNES game, I think. Yeah, well, it's, it was it's like an it's not, unlicensed. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 not approved by Nintendo at all. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to play as the little mini Doom doll, so I can go around and fuck up some demon ankles. Well, like the little Funko <laughs> Doom guy that you find in, in the first yeah, game. Yeah. yeah, like a little squeaky toy. I want to play as that. <laughs> Yeah, do <laughs> I, I just want to go around and mildly irritate things. Do do doom squeak journal. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, there's probably a workshop mod for it, and if there isn't, there is now. Oh shit! Hey man, uh, what is that? Sold out? Sold out. It's, it's French for soldier. <laughs> Yes, um, it's it's a two D action game in the vein of Worms and Liero from Poland. Uh, it's from Poland. It's from 2002, actually. You can get it on Steam for free. Uh, but now you can have source code. Um, it's done using OpenAL and uh, uh, SDL2. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, physics and uh, game networking sockets. So uh, it does It does have uh, multiplayer. I think it's using the Steam sockets as well. Uh, but either either way, uh, you it have the source of Lazarus. <laughs> Lazarus. Dude, this you know thing's that? so old school, the trailers, and like, it looks like it's in 4x3. It probably is, but again, that two two thousand two that that tracks. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it's just nice to see uh, games release source code now that they're like super old. Uh, it helps. It helps with modders. It helps with map makers. It helps extend the life of the game. The they had said um, previously on you know apparently a long time ago they're like yeah we're going to eventually release the source code to the internet. They were saying uh, it took you a minute, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. No, but, but hey, good on you. I mean, I, dude, it's just like preservation alone, you know? Yeah. When, when something has a GitHub or anything like that, it's like the game will live on. on as as long as Pascal course. has support. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to need something Pascal related to run it. <laughs> you know, I, I what if I get a, a, a Raspberry Pi with one gig of RAM and I got uh, to make packages for that game. Oh, man, I didn't even have one gig of RAM. I had a quarter of a gig of RAM. 512 and up. We were grateful. Uphills. Go, go, go fuck yourself. But there's a, there's a brand new uh, Pi out now. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 now has a 8 gigabyte model that you can pick up for about 75. What stinky freedom hey, Jordan, dollars. What do you think? That, do you think it'll take him more than 30 seconds to find his Raspberry Pi in his drunk drawer? Because he, he's scrambling right now. He's, oh, 
There, there, there it the is. The box was right. hidden. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, 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 mine, mine is definitely in a box somewhere. So apparently, apparently the, the real reason why they weren't offering one of these uh, beforehand, because the SRC can address up to I love your uh, 16 oops. gigs. There we go. Oops. Like, oops. <laughs> didn't mean to oops. post that in the... Um... <laughs> Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. So they're, they're, they're technically the Pi can support up to 16 gigs of RAM, but no one was making a cheap enough LPDDR4 uh, chip. That's no longer the case. So now you can have your 8 gigabyte Pi. And I'm positive that like embedded Java developers and people who are like doing Minecraft mods for the Pi are ecstatic that now they have more RAM. Delicious, delicious no, memory. Jordan, Jordan. This is silly. This is pointless because what, how am I going to address eight gigajoules of RAM on a 32 bit OS? This is just silly. Well, it needs a 64 bit OS. Good thing that that processor uses an ARC 64 instruction set and can use a Raspbian 64 bit. That was just released. Um, no, man. Yep. There's a 64 bit. <laughs> that's the thing, man. Default operating system. I mean, it's currently kind of like a little bit, a little alpha, but it is there. To play around with I'm Debian 64 ARM 64 board. Yay. Now, what I want to think about is you mix this, you get your eight gigajoules RAM, you get your 64 bit OS. And we talked about it last week on weekly daily Wednesdays was the ability to boot off USB three. Ooh. Yes. For 75 <laughs> wet stinky caches, don't you pretty much have the fuck it all everything emulator at this point? I think I think it'll still struggle with like Saturn and N64 a little bit, but really? beyond th yeah. but beyond that, yeah, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, no, I I do wonder how long it'll take for someone to release a PlayStation 2 Mini Sony uh, with a Raspberry Pi running Retro Pi with PCXX2. Are we gonna, get, uh, are we gonna, get, the, are we gonna <laughs> get the PS2 Mini or the N64 Mini first? <sighs> I, I I don't know because like the the NES Mini came out and that sold like hotcakes and then like six months later Nintendo's like yo Super Nintendo Mini and that sold like hotcakes mm -hmm. and then Sony was like PlayStation One Mini and no one cared and yeah. Sega was like Sega Genesis Mini and everyone's <laughs> like dude we've been playing your shit on emulators for years yeah. shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, and then Atari, the PlayStation yeah. Mini actually had a lot of Mini. games. Yeah. yeah. The, and then and then Atari's like VCS and then we all laughed at them. <laughs> then the, they said, you know what? Fuck you all. And they built hotels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True story. Wood paneling everywhere. It was, it was atrocious. Atrociously beautiful. But yeah, I was surprised that they didn't release the eight gigabyte version because yeah, that oops that they mentioned in the article there is like, yeah, everyone saw the eight gigabyte thing. When it, it, you know the four gigabyte issue. version came out, uh, but it's like, oh, so you guys were waiting because the eighth anniversary of the Raspberry Pi was a couple of months ago. It's like, oh, you were waiting for that. It's like, no, no, you didn't release it. Okay, oh, it's uh, borderline June now. It's like, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I again, it's cheap RAM. Yeah. They they, they yeah. do they do have to make these on kind of a shoestring budget so that people can yeah. you know afford them. Cool. So there we go. Coming up next, we like we want to give KCM Games a big tanks oh, and tanks. raise some shell. And other tank puns. I I I, 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 tre I, I, I tread to, to hear what happens next. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. I, I, have, I can't do a show. It's going to be a barrel of fun. <laughs> have you ever seen a tank shoot a chair yep. at a man or Long another time. tank? Well, get ready. Oh. Because if you haven't ah. seen it, you're going to see it now. <laughs> Shellshocked. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Shellshocked for the Chair Acquisition. Uh, it's developed by KChamp Games, done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 7 bucks US. Uh, they hit 1.0 recently. They were in early access for a while. And this is another one of these perpetual early access games that just... You, reverse penis, <laughs> man. Reverse penis. Um, so what? what is it? Uh, demolish your friends with hundreds of upgradable weapons shot from your customizable p tank. In this action-packed online multiplayer tanks game, earn XP to level up and unlock new tanks, weapons, and gear. Fight against or alongside your friends for strategic or free-for-all matches. Um, we bought. Was this game free to play at one point? That's I don't legit, Pedro. That's everyone's first shot of like... Uh 
Let's see if I can. Yeah, that, 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 no, that, 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 that was that was my level that for that too. Uh, any, any, anyways, uh, we, we got we got three different operating systems to review this on. So let's get started. How how Debian work? Hi, look at me. I'm down there. I'm behind the things. Deal You're with gifted. It. Hey, check it out. Over here on Debian testing, I'm playing around with that hotness. Uh, on the Threadripper 1920x, uh, 32 gigajoules of RAM powered. This graphical juggernaut with the 2060 no cape edition, no superpowers for it. Runs pretty good, man. It really does. Um, like out of the box, first thing you can notice, it's got the unity scream of nope. I haven't seen that old friend in a while. So <laughs> minus one chair right there, man. But it does work once you get through that nonsense uh, that you're going to be greeted with on every single launch. Uh, it does hold 60 at 1080p and 2160p. And that's on ultra, but there's not a lot going on. You'd kind of expect it, but then again, it's Unity. You never know. An older version of Unity, you really don't know. It does absolutely work well with the x controller, out of the box, a sit-back experience. I really enjoyed the uh, like little bit of rumble, like when you're slowly adjusting your um, sights or the uh, force that you're sending out. You get like little rump, 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 rump feedback from the wiggle motor inside of the controller. So, yeah, big fan of that. Nice touch. Fun party game, plain and simple, 100% has tutorial, single player bullshit, dick around with, and it just reminds you how boring and soulless this game could possibly be in forever alone mode, you're not going to have a good time with it, uh, Shell Shock Live really only works when you are, wait for it, hey, live, this thing, playing with randos online, it's better than nothing, but it really shines when you have someone to talk the smack with, 100%, I don't care if you're in deathmatch, team deathmatch, Neighborhood deathmatch, deathmatch from above, deathmatch parfait. It's all deathmatch. It's good times. You can have fun. Uh, we have, I think, in the after shows a couple times. You don't need much in the way of skill. Uh, it could help in the long run, but it's not required. Uh, lots of random weapons. Bananas are included. That's the thing. It's like, oh, what does the banana? Oh, just shoot a fucking banana. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough, game. Uh, the ability to like scooch about, you run out of petrol, but you know, that's part of the challenge. You know, halfway through the match, you remember like, wait, I can move my little tank thing. Oh, I'm out of gas. Uh, I'd like to say that this team has definitely done a good job updating gorillas.bad for the modern era for 2020. That's the thing. It, it's kind of fun, man. At six ninety nine, this is something you can pick up for yourself and like eight or 10 people, man, and not feel bad about breaking the bank for while you're sitting at home during the day, sp supposedly paying attention to a Zoom meeting, you could be playing this, man. I'm just saying. So, yeah, let's say check it out, man. I mean, I didn't expect to like this little fuck around game, but it, it, it's got its own charm to it. Yeah. Ah, the Unity scream and open minimal game settings or in game settings, good times. But, you know, everything works. My controller even rumbles and I tried to play with it a bit, but like that kind of felt like having bad wrong fun. So I just went back to keyboard and mouse. It also has a little cheesy music loop that reminds me a bit of um, like old Super Nintendo games that like you could only have a certain number of notes in a given musical file. So you just yet yet to make a loop that sounded good and kept sounding good forever. Um and once I took uh, VSync off, it holds about 600 frames a second at 1080p. So, <laughs> you know, make 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 of, make of that what you will. Um, fun wise, I mean, yeah, the single player here serves as a tutorial and provides some challenges, but. Like Ven said, the real fun here is multiplayer. It's got a lack of unlockable maps, statement of degraded multiplayer, and some pretty fun game modes beyond deathmatch and team deathmatch. And they're all made for trash talk. Um, and yeah, you base it's basically just how good are you at trigonometry, the game. And if you're bad, it's trial and error, the game. Either way, it's good fun. Get some buddies together, blow each other up, talk shit, cry, three chairs. Yeah. And over here on KD Neon, it... Performs about as well as you'd expect with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 7 3700X, considering the graphics on display here. Uh, the one complaint I have is the sound, because whenever you finish one of the single player maps like you're watching in the video right now, if you're watching the video, um, there's a pop. And it was, even with the sound cut all the way down low, like I have it because it was way too loud when we were playing it live, 
So I had it cut all the way down and it was still way too loud to the point where when I was uh, running this uh, footage through Handbrake to send to Ven, I just removed the sound entirely because that was really bad. Uh, the controls, yeah, no, that, that works. I had to enable... Um, steam input for the dual schmuck 4 v2 because yeah but no it does work and it does have the little rumblies yeah the uh unity screen of nope was not appreciated but the game actually works so there's that in forever alone mode like you're watching right now um it's basically worms with none of the funky characters or the uh quippy voice lines there is uh, this is very much a game that shines in multiplayer. Uh, it's even better than Worms in that respect because it's so much more precise and it's so much more tactical uh, because you have the one tank and you have to manage with that one tank. And trust me, it, you will inevitably elicit a reaction from, uh, from one of your friends or game playing people that you know, be it them thrusting their hips in your proverbial face because we're still social distancing, or the, just a load of salt because you blew them up. Real so, tanks have curves. <laughs> Whatever your uh, preference of tanks may be, um, Shellshock Live is actually a very, very nice uh, multiplayer experience. So it gets three chairs. Excellent. Well, there you go. It's, it's a fun game. You should check it out. It's pretty cheap, too, so you can have some good old fun while you're Six dollars is definitely in the fuck around category, and I think oh, yeah. it, it's smart to price it at six because this is not something you just want to pick up for yourself. Yeah. Do, do they do they got a four pack? I don't know. They do that. have a four pack for $15. There you well, go. Well, there, there you go. Done. You can grab it for cheap All for right. a bunch of your friends. Coming up next, once again, my plans for unveiling my super organism have been leaked and now I have to address it for the media and well that was a review and we're certainly running pew, out pew. of games that we can um, make fun of because they will be permanently out of early access but hey if you'd like to let us know of a game that you have been personally looking forward to coming out of early access and they still haven't for years now feel free to head on over to the lakescapecast.com hit the contact button and fill out the form lgc weekly is the show that you want to send your hate mail to otherwise you might be asking jordan for relationship advice who would want that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Who? Who indeed? We've only ever gotten one. <laughs> and it was Orn. Oh no. I wonder what Orn's <laughs> up to these days. Being Orn, probably. That'd be Terrorizing great. Sweden. So, something probably. you might have noticed if you were watching the stream or in the after the fact. Or if you were listening, you definitely heard a collective like, oh my god. Um, we, we witnessed not... I, I think I definitely wondered because it, these pop filters, um, Jordan was like, man, I got to go brush my teeth, man. I'm like, what? He's like, I can smell my breath from a pop filter. I'm like, oh, all right. You know what? You know what, my friend? I, I don't know if you were smelling your breath so much as or you, you were smelling whatever the hell was going on on that pop filter. Because well, uh, again, that's because that's <laughs> I didn't brush my teeth before speaking in front of it. That means that all the shit in... Any, anyways, let's, let's get to the thing. All right. So our Theron, our Theron, he says, so much shit mold and shit on Jordan's old poop filter. Burn it with fire before the new global pandemic will start from his mouth. With eight, Arthur. And so that's not really my plan. My plan is to culture a life form that combines the DNA from that and the world's strongest fighters into a new robot. And then I'm going to build like two more robots for it to absorb so that it, it can become the ultimate fighter and then it will destroy the world. I... <laughs> I, I was initially taken aback, but then my morbid curiosity, followed by, that's nasty. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if fire would cleanse that. Probably no, just it would, piss it, it off. Would in, it, it would infect the fire, and then the fire would spread along with the molds. John mm -hmm. Carpenter saw that thing, and he's like, I got an idea for a script. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just need a time machine. Dude, man. Because Nori is currently using the pop filter that I used to have, and um, it, it it it's squeaky clean compared to yours. <laughs> well, this this is a new one now. 
It's it, it, it's literally the one that our Theron sent me. So, Aww. dude, I I don't know it. Is well, I'm spot. I've never seen like chunks of shit in a pop filter. <laughs> yeah, no, that 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 had shit growing on it. <laughs> My mouth is a wonderful place, and by wonderful, I mean horrible. Your mouth is a wonderland. Oh man, thanks for the question. We're glad to share because on that that. John, John John Mayer song, Your Mouth is a Wonderland. <laughs> we gotta cue the music, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get in touch with me, you know where I'm at. I'm hiding over on Twitter. That's my social media thing where I'll boop you back. At Finstone, I'm there. Or just at Finn on mass.linksteamcast.com. And as always, I'm hanging out in our IRC channel and I'm definitely in Discord. If you want to see what else my mouth is contaminating on a week by week basis, what you can follow. What else is in your mouth? Oh. Elks. Elks. There's a definite you want, lack of venison. If you want to see me swallow some weight, what? No. Follow me on Twitter <laughs> at the Burning Fool. At Frojo and Mastodon. Pedro, where, who the fuck are you? I don't I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh no. Uh, <laughs> the joke that popped into my head was too yeah. bad. Uh, so, no, uh, I am Peter Matos. You can find me at unaccounted4 on Twitter or uh, at unaccounted4 with the actual number 4 on mass.letticgamecast.com. It's but fucking adorable when you can't get the 4 in there because he ends up with these little bullshit names and you can tell he went through all the variants of like trying to get a backwards upside down letter. He's like, Barr. I mean, does, yeah. does he try the other 4s like <laughs> F-O-R or F-O-R-E? Uh, yes. Yes. F-O-U-R. Yes, I, I've seen him drop this. Speaking of drop shit, let's drop some credits. <laughs> there we go. It's no Jordan mouth, and it's Wonderland. It's a mouthy, a mouthy Wonderland. That's 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 no station. That's Jordan's mouth. That's not a mouth station. That's a pop filter. <laughs> All right, we, we gotta think, we gotta thank our advisors, Haplo, still spending way too much money on us. We gotta thank our mm-hmm. Theron and Empty and the Atomic Ass and Mike G and Barb Brampt and Mr. Horsehead himself, Aldius. Aldius. You can't see my uh, Frostclaw, Mac the Geek, Scott, Drummer, Lutris, Libre Quest, Mr. Fox, Daug. And the rest. Yeah. And the like rest. Gaius, Machu, Max, Yabo, Stonyfish, Christopher G. C, Fraser, Nova King, Egal, Nicole, Jolly, Shervig von Havenstaben, Kylinix, yes. the Sildad, <laughs> Ertain, Colin, Thomas, Ryan, Gonzo, Scott, 2000, Matt. Renee, Renault, <laughs> Ramzawata, uh, R- R- yeah. Ryan, Raspberry, and Roosted Mr. Rinks. Mango, sir. And I finally Martin. put the plugs in. The other Martin. PowerShell and on Linux. MSC. Yes. PowerShell <laughs> on Linux. And Pyramid. Ooh. I don't know what, what it about, is. What about... What did, about Agnew's finally pyramid? someone take us up on the whole you can plug your thing at yeah, the end? Yeah, I finally was like, okay, let, let me just set this thing up, man, because LGC motherfucking cares. Okay. Bitch. Hashtag bitch. Tweet us with hashtag bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From here out. Five dudes.